All right, guys, welcome back to video number 67. And we really got to stay focused from here on out because now there's so many ways we can mess up on our code. So let's stay focused and let's keep on keeping on. Okay, so in this video, we're going to finally perform our update. So we need to create another query variable and set it equal to whatever we want to do with our database. So you guys remember, excuse me, the MySQL commands, you know, they're really easy to remember because there's only a, a, a few of them that we really use. It's like, um, you know, where, delete, um, drop. It's not like PHP functions where it almost seems like they're endless. I mean, there's so many PHP functions out there and JavaScript functions out there in comparison to MySQL. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our variable. Now, this is the variable that has different values. We did this... Um, probably like 20 videos ago, we created a query variable. So let's go ahead and create it now. And we'll set it equal to what we want to do with our database. And in this instance, we want to update. Remember, uh, in MySQL, it's all going to be capitalized. Information. Set. I'm going to drop down a few lines right here. Now let's pull in our elements from our database that we created like in the first couple videos. Set it equal to single quotes, curly braces, and let's pull in the variable, and then a comma. MySQL to comma, any other programming language, it's a semicolon. What else do we want to pull in? Both position and visible. This time we do not need the single quotations, we just need our variable. Let's give it a comma. Watch me forget and put a semicolon at the end of one of these now. Visible, we will set it equal to, I can never find that button, the little curly brace. Visible, and let's not give it a comma just yet. Actually, give it a comma, what am I talking about? Actually, scratch that, that doesn't look right. And okay, so this covers all of our values. This is everything we have in our database that we can't update, but we still need to tell our database what to update. So what from this needs to be updated? Because right now it just says everything. It's got everything in a big bucket, but we only want a couple things from that bucket. So let's go ahead and use the MySQL command where, and it's our ID from the last video and let me look at this really quick. Now we can give it the closing double quotation because there's one up there. Let's close it out. And let's close out our statement. So let me look at this. Let me pause the video really quick. Everything looks good so far. Okay, now that we have our update statement, so let's go ahead and execute it. So let's go ahead and use the variable we've been using. Oh, here's, there it is. I had an excess uh, double quotation right there. You probably didn't. I'm an idiot, my bad. So what do we want to go ahead and run? What was the, I believe it's result. I don't want to have to go to create info. I, I think it's result. My, this is the long one. Query and inside here. Nope. Query and then our most important Variable of them all, connection. Okay, let's look at this. Now let's test. Let's go ahead and test to see if this update is true or false. Let's see if it is, um, if it's working. So let's go ahead and drop down another line. Let's run an if else statement. And this is a new PHP MySQL function I'm going to be using. It's called MySQL underscore affected rows. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Because it just lets us know how it lets us know how many rows were affected. And if we run an update, it's just going to take the previous row. So let's go ahead and set this equal to one. And let me give it the else right here. Let me pull this up a little bit. Else. Let me look at this. Okay, this looks pretty darn good so far. So for the time being, I'm just gonna put a comment in here that this was a success. And obviously if it's not, 
this is a epic fail. So in the next video, we either put in um, whatever we want to run if this is true or the opposite, whatever we want to run if this is in fact false. So hopefully you guys are following along with this and we, we successfully created uh, an update in our database through PHP and all this stuff we've been learning. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video.